Issue 34 Sonic is told by Eggman that he's finally awake. I guess Knuckles doesn't have the heart to outright kill someone, even if he thinks he's threatening to steal his emeralds. And Eggman knew he couldn't get away with telling him to finish him off, so he had to wait for Sonic to wake up, or else Knuckles would realize he's evil. Knuckles is lied to by Eggman, who smartly uses the fact that Sonic said he already has emeralds as proof that he's an emerald thief. And when Knuckles hits Sonic, while well, Sonic at least reasons that he's probably a really nice guy, he says, but nobody hits Sonic the Hedgehog like that and gets away with it. He barrels right through him and tells Tails that he knows what to do, being oddly trusting of and reliant on him to just get that when he calls him a dimwit all the time. Knuckles pounds the ground to make the ground rise up beneath him. It's odd that of all the powers Penders made Knuckles do, he never made him do anything Earth Power related, which I would associate very well with Knuckles. Sonic runs around Knuckles in a circle, increases the pressure somehow, and sends Knuckles launching upwards in a creative use of his super speed. Knuckles drills into the ground, and Sonic punches him out of it. Then Tails in the tornado drops a net on Eggman, Sonic admits that Knuckles might be nearly his match in a fight, and jumps onto the tornado from a hill he speeds over to. Sonic says, calling Tails' little buddy that he could have beaten Knuckles, and thinks to himself that Knuckles was really tough and he was just lying about it being easy. It's nice to see his ego being bruised. In the next story, the Badnik Repair Squad chases and easily destroys the Nice Nicks and kidnaps the animals free from them right away. Again, I hope there's going to be more Nice Nicks because I love that concept. One of the Mobians working for the squad hopes Eggman won't notice that they only had enough working parts to rebuild one motorbug. He mentions that there's only room for one, puts the two animals in one robot. Yeah, two brains to be brainwashed by programming meant for one person. And the story ends with the Badnik sniffing the flowers with no indication that he's good or evil, so that's not a good ending. I mean, he's sniffing the flowers, so he's probably good, but... Like, really, like, really this is the end of the Nice Nick concept. And, like, this, this Badnik Repair Squad just ruins it, just destroys all of them. Really? Did, this, did, did these guys need to exist? The first story was by Nigel Kitchen, and was about Sonic having a fight with Knuckles thanks to Eggman, where Knuckles shows off that he can make the ground rise and drill through it, two abilities he doesn't make use of at all in Archie. And then Sonic escapes thanks to Tails piloting the tornado and capturing Eggman in a net. And the second story was by Mark Isles and involved the Badniks being destroyed and the animals being put into the fixed remains of the same Badniks, with no clear indication of whether the Nice Nick virus is still in the Badnik. It felt like padding, storing characters I don't care about. It was good, I guess. You, you can be much assuming that about every issue unless my summer is nothing but complaints.